Hi friends, I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. In previous classes, we learned how to form a differential equation from the given curve. In this class, we will learn how to find general solution of the differential equation by using variable separable method. In examination, the question will be like this. Solve the differential equation or they'll ask like this. Find the general solution of the differential equation dy by dx equal to 1 plus y square divided by 1 plus x square. To solve a differential equation in variable separable method, we'll remember three things. First thing, you separate x variable dx, y variable dy. x variable dx, y variable dy, you separate. For example, you see here how we separate x variable dx y variable dy. What I'll do here, I'll write all x terms and dx at one side, all y terms and dy at one side. You see here, I'll take dx to this side and 1 plus y square to this side. Then what you will get? You will get like this. 1 plus y square into dy equal to, uh, see here, I taken 1 plus y square to this side. Now you take dx to this side. Then what you will get here? You will get that 1 plus x square into dx. You can observe here, all y variables and dy is at one side, all x variable and dx at one side. That is first step. x variable dx, y variable dy, you separate. Okay. So first step is over. After that, what we'll do? You see the second one, integrate on both sides. Yes, you integrate this on both sides, 1 divided by 1 plus y square into dy equal to integral of 1 divided by 1 plus x square into dx. Okay, we know this formula in integration chapter. Integral law of 1 divided by 1 plus x square dx formula is what? It is tan inverse x plus c. Right? Because derivative of tan inverse x is 1 divided by 1 plus x square. However, we learn this formula in integration. Integral of 1 divided by 1 plus y square dy is what? It is tan inverse of y. Actually, here integration we are doing, we need to write arbitrary constant plus c. But what I'll do here, write plus c on any one side. Because if I write plus c here, if I write plus c here, you may cancel them. But actually it is not like that. This c is arbitrary, this c is arbitrary. Both are different, they may be same also. So to avoid the confusion, I'll write plus c at any one side. That c always I'll write right hand side. Okay. So tan inverse y equal to integral of 1 divided by 1 plus x square dx is tan inverse x. Tan inverse x. I need to write that plus c at any one side. That plus c I'll write here. Now we'll try to understand this more clearly with one more example. You see this question dy by dx equal to x plus 1 divided by 2 minus y because if y is equal to 2, this denominator will become 0, then this is not defined. So, this is the differential equation. In examination, the question will be like this. Solve the differential equation dy by dx equal to x plus 1 divided by 2 minus y. Or, they may ask like this also. Find the general solution of the differential equation dy by dx equal to x plus 1 divided by 2 minus y. We solve this differential equation by variable separable method. In variable separable method, you need to remember three steps. First one, x variable dx, y variable dy will be separated. For example, you see how to separate. What I'll do? I'll take dx to this side, then x plus 1 dx, x terms dx will be at one side and I'll take 2 minus y to this side, then y terms dy will be at one side. Okay, so you take 2 minus y to this side, 2 minus y into dy equal to, you take dx to this side, then what you will get x plus 1 into dx. You can observe here, y terms dy are at one side, x terms dx are at one side. That means first step is over. We separated x variables dx, y variables dy. Once first step is over, we'll integrate on both sides. Integrate this on both sides. Integral of 2 minus y into dy equal to integral of x plus 1 into dx. Okay. Integral of this part, we know that we integrate each and every term. Integral of 2 dy minus integral of y dy. Here also similarly, integral of x dx plus 
integral of 1 dx. No need to write this step. If you know integration very well, directly you can write. Integral of 2 dy. See, we know this formula. Integral of k dx. Integral of k dx is kx plus c. Here k is constant. Integral of 2 dy is what? It is 2y. Okay. Minus integral of y dy you see here y power 1 will be there we know this formula integral of x power n dx equal to x power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c integral of y dy is what it is y square divided by 2 equal to integral of x dx here power 1 will be there so we use this formula integral of x dx is what x square divided by 2 plus integral of 1 dx 1 is constant so integral of k dx is kx as we discussed in the third step we'll write plus c at any one side i'll always write that plus c here this side to avoid the confusion i don't simplify this further if you want test book answer you can simplify this further but it always leads unnecessary confusion i do not recommend you to simplify this further to get the test book answer this is the required general solution of the given differential equation when we try for the test book answer we always confuse why because whoever the person solve that sometimes they'll write plus c here but that plus c can be written on any side if i write plus c here i'll get one type of answer if i write plus c here it i'll get another type of answer actually both answers are same but it looks different so to avoid the confusion don't simplify further you stop here only in this way we will solve given differential equation by using variable separable method <laughs>